We have a very cool fifth wheel bunk model to take a look at today. We have the 2022 Rockwood 2891BH. Let's take a look. Up front we have a Kurt turning point front hitch. This hitch is uh, very suitable for uh, a truck, especially if you have a short bed truck. Uh, we have a turning point right here, so the hitch has a pivot point here, which will give you a much greater turning radius. Up front in your uh, basement storage compartment, very accessible, nice and wide. Everything is all nice and clean up top. Your ventilation and all your, your plumbing and your, your duct work is kept out of the way just to maximize your, your storage capacity. Moving to the side of the trailer here, uh, the trailer is uh, sitting on 16 inch rubber. Um, it is E-rated, the tires. Underneath the suspension system, we have uh, torsion axles. Um, Rockwood runs with torsion axles on all their trailers, whether it's a fifth wheeler or a travel trailer, um, opposed to many of the manufacturers that are running with leaf springs. Many of my customers prefer the torsion over the leaf spring. Access uh, to a lot of storage compartments throughout the trailer on the outside. Uh, I refer to uh, many trailers having a lot of dead space, meaning uh, they don't have the, the storage capacity or they don't utilize the storage as much as they could. You won't find that in the Rockwood. Uh, storage throughout the trailer as much as they can uh, accommodate. This trailer does come with an outside kitchen, so we do have a uh, uh, pull out camp style um, stove top there. Nice little beverage fridge. Moving to the rear of the trailer, uh, LED lighting. More storage compartment space back here. Quite adequate. I suppose uh, in that area there, you could probably put a power cord or what other essentials, maybe some uh, blocks, things like that. This trailer does have a outside shower in the rear, hot and cold. It will come with an adapter. There is a hitch on this trailer. Uh, the hitch on the trailer is rated for 300 pounds, so it's not meant for uh, heavy towing, which you can uh, utilize that area for. It would be a bike rack or, or maybe a, another storage rack that you would on, want to put on. We do have a ladder on the rear of the trailer. It is a walkable roof, so you can get up there. You also note that the, the windows are all frameless. Um, a nice dark tinted window. Uh, this bumper is uh, mostly used for your, your storage of your sewer hose. Water fill is right here. It is a 50 amp trailer. Down there is your, uh, your sewer dump right here. Underneath, um, the slide here we have a rack and pinion system and that sits on a 8 inch beam so very very solid very durable for this size of uh, slide. More storage, more storage there, more storage here. If you look up top this is quite high that's got to go up at least six feet in there so what I can see going in there would be uh, camping chairs, the folding, folding style, or how about fishing rods and all your fishing gear can go in there. Access to your uh, basement on this side as well. Something else I appreciate is just a, a light on this side of the trailer. Um, you might uh, show up at your, your camping site later at night. Nice to have this side of the trailer uh, illuminated for, for hookup. All your waterworks is uh, nicely consolidated in this area right here. So you can do all your winterizing right here. Um, you do have a black tank flush. Then you do have a port here to run down your, your hoses and your, uh, say your uh, satellite cables or, or however you want. This trailer does come with, uh, it is set up for solar. So we do have a 190 watt um, solar panel on the roof and it does come with a thousand watt inverter. 
this area right here uh, the trailer is self leveling so that's uh, that's your apparatus there for for setting your trailer up the trailer is equipped with uh, two 30 pound tanks as well um, those are all supplied and filled for you upon the purchase of the trailer Up front, your standard storage um, in that area there is your battery area. It is equipped or set up for two batteries if you wish. The trailer will come with one battery when, when it leaves the lot. Rockwood doesn't make a, a lot of bunkhouse models, so this is one that uh, we're really wanting everybody to pay attention to. Um, the highlight of the trailer, I guess, is the bunk room in the back here. Many trailers will have a really cool bunk area, but they don't supply you with the necessary storage. Uh, that's not the case in this trailer. Tremendous amount of room here. Uh, these are removable. I'll just get out of the way here and let you pan back there. This trailer is actually prepped for a washer and dryer. So um, if you want to put one in, you just remove those shelves and you'd want to go with an all-in-one combo unit for this trailer. We have a L shape uh, bunk style. So this bottom bunk here, it measures uh, it's four feet wide and about six feet long, so adequate space there. And then up in the top here, uh, this L shape, um, you can have kids sleep here and one sleep here. Lots of room. This this length here is about seven feet, and the other one's probably around six feet long. We equip this trailer with a TV in the room as well. No shortage of storage in the trailer as far as pantry space. Wood color is beautiful in this trailer. This is a eight foot, uh, cu eight cubic foot fridge. It is gas electric. All real wood in this trailer. You won't find any uh, OSB. Uh, all the hinges are all, all hidden, very clean look. The, um, the Rockwood is considered a premium level trailer. And what I mean by that is just the overall fit and finish. Uh, nice uh, crown moldings everywhere, sp specifically up top on the cupboard area. If just pan up top there, you can just see how nicely that's uh, finished off. You don't see any uh, too many wood holes or or marks from nails or anything like that. Very well put together. Nice kitchen area, hard surface countertops. We do have a dual uh, stainless steel sink and it will have the dual drying racks here as well. Two of them. Very nice cabinetry, glass inserts. Tremendous amount of storage. Storage throughout. Your entertainment area, we have a 42 inch TV down below. That would be a 36 inch um, fireplace, throwing off a really nice heat right now. So you can use that as a additional heating source or just for ambiance. Roller blind shades. Very nice balances. Everything just set off so nicely in this trailer and it's rock solid. Uh, you won't find those loosening up over time going over rows. They're, they're on there for good. We do have a trifold sofa here. So if you do need an additional sleeping area, this will flip out. And so will your U-shaped uh, dinette. That table is collapsible. Nice thing about that, you can uh, always take that outside for 
additional table space as well. Moving to the front of the trailer. Very nice bathroom area, which does lead into the, the primary bedroom here. Uh, nice big shower. If you're six foot six, you're still gonna get in the shower. Um, this is a really nice feature too. This is called a shower miser. And what that is, when you when you turn your water on, you might not be at your desirable temperature or temperature immediately. Turn this on, and what it will do is it, it'll recycle your water until you reach the temperature that you want. And the benefit of that is uh, you're not going to have a bunch of wasted water going down into your your gray water tank. You just turn that off once you uh, hit the temperature that you desire, and then it will drain into your gray water. In your bedroom area, we have a wardrobe slide. Lots of room in here. The nice part with this wardrobe slide, it's gonna free up this area here. You're not gonna have a wardrobe on each side of your bed. In addition, what they're gonna do is give you uh, lots of countertop space here. Uh, books, magazines, if you're a CPAP user, that's where that could go to. And lots of additional drawer space on each side of the bed. This is an actual uh, queen size bed. It's a residential style. It is an upgraded mattress, very, very comfortable. And underneath you will have additional storage. Just so cleanly put together, you won't find any rough edges or anything like that. It's, uh, it's all aluminum framed. And then you have some uh, very solid, uh, uh, strong struts. To hold this uh, bed up in place. The air conditioning is ducted throughout the trailer. Um, so it will be ducted through the front bedroom and the rear bunk room. You will also have a 12 volt fan in your living area. Nice for circulating the heat or circulating the, the cool air, I should say. LED lighting throughout, very bright, very clean looking inside. We just received this trailer maybe about a week ago. We're filming in mid-March right now. Uh, very happy with what we see. Um, please give us a shout. My name is Ron Mack. I am the business manager with Carlisle RV and Leisure. I can be reached at 306-453-6773. The pleasure has been all mine in showing you this beautiful trailer. Please reach out to us. Have a great day.